Welcome to the fifth video of the series Envimet Unfolded, a complete guide to the Envimet software. In the last video, we talked about soils and soil profiles in Envimet and all of the parameters that define them. We also showed how to create custom soils and profiles. In this video, we will cover simple vegetation. In Envimet, there are two main types of vegetation, simple plants and 3D plants. 3D plants have complex structures like canopies and will be covered in a later video when we explain the features of our Envimet suit program Albero. Simple plants, which we are covering in this video, refers to plants with simple vertical structures like grasses, bushes and hedges. To begin, we will start with the database manager open and our project selected. For this video, we will be focusing on the simple plants tab. We can see that the tab looks very similar to the other tabs we looked at before. If we click on System Plants, we can see a variety of plants and vegetation that come standard with Envimet. If we click on a plant, we can see a variety of parameters that define each plant, just like the other features we have covered before. Alternative Name just allows us to place a second alternative name for the plant. CO2 Fixation Type refers to if the plant is a C3 or a C4 plant. A sunflower, for example, is a C3 plant, while a cactus is a C4 plant. C4 plants utilize a specialized pathway for carbon fixation, increasing efficiency in hot and dry conditions, while C3 plants use a more basic pathway, less adapted to such environments. Due to their different behavior in reality, parameters within the model are adjusted according to the fixation type you choose. Leaf type has three possible values, grass, deciduous or conifer. This value is mainly used in Envimet to determine aerodynamic resistance for the plant in order to better model wind patterns. Albedo, as we explained in other videos, refers to the percentage of shortwave radiation that is reflected off the surface of a substance or in this case the plant or vegetation. Transmittance is a parameter we talked about with materials and refers to the average amount of shortwave solar radiation that passes through the plant or vegetation structure to reach the ground. Plant height refers to how high in meters the height of the plant is. Root zone depth refers to the depth in meters that the plant's root system reaches. Leaf area density profile, or LAD profile, refers to how much one-sided leaf surface area in square meters exists within one cubic meter of air volume. The information is taken in 10 equal vertical parts or slices between the height of the plant and the ground surface. This layered approach allows for a very accurate LAD profile throughout the entire structure of the plant. Root area density is very similar to leaf area density, but refers to the root structure. The same 10 layer approach is used and allows for a dynamic root structure for any given plant. Finally, season profile refers to the percentage of leaf area density available throughout the year. As some plants lose their leaves in winter, this value would decrease from a maximum value of 1 to a possible minimum value of 0.2. The scale does not go to zero, as in our current approach, the branches and twigs within the plant count towards the leaf area density. We can create our own vegetation from scratch in the same way we made our own material or soil, by either clicking on our project database folder and clicking this small button here, or we can copy an existing plant and modify it. If we decide to make our own plant or modify one, we need to make sure we save it in our project database. If you would like to know more about the database manager, please check out our Getting Started series here on YouTube. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for the next one, where we will dive into wall and roof greening.